Hi, this video is about the Carey Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the February 2013 Grade 5 6 Contest Question 14, which also came up in the Grade 7 8, 9 10, and 11 12 contests. So the question is The sum of four numbers is 50. If 4 is added to the first number, then 4 is subtracted from the second, and the third is multiplied by 4, and the fourth is divided by 4. All four results are equal to each other. Which of the following statements is true? So, to get one of the seven options, we will ne need to figure out the four numbers. So, one way to approach this question is to guess a common result. So, after we have that common result, we will do the common result minus 4 to get the first number, then the common result plus 4 to get the second number, then the common result divided by 4 to get the third number, and the common result times 4 to get the fourth number. So, if these four numbers all add up to 50, then we are fine, and then we can look at the seven options. But, if they do not add up to 50, we will have to try again and guess a new common result. But, I will about to sh I'm about to show a more systematic way to solve this question. So, let the four numbers be called A, B, C, and D, and the common result being N. So, here in the question, it states a 4 is added to the first number, so we know that A plus 4 equals N. Then we know that b minus 4 equals n. Then we know that c times 4 equals n. And d divided by 4 equals n. So now it also states that these four numbers, A, B, C, and D, all add up to 50. So we have 50 equals A plus B plus C plus D. So now we can rewrite these equations to have them just as A equals, B equals, C equals, and D equals. So this would be the same as A equals N minus 4. And this could also be written as B equals N plus 4. And this can be written as C divided by C equals N divided by 4. And this can be written as D equals N times 4. So now we will substitute these values in for A, B, C, and D. So we will have n minus 4 plus b, which is plus n plus 4. Then we have plus c, which is n divided by 4. And then we have plus d, which is n times 4. So, we know that minus 4 and plus 4 cancel out to 0. Then we have n plus n is 2n. Then here we have n times 4 is 4n. So, 2n plus 4n is 6n. 
and then we have n divided by 4, so we have 1 quarter of n. So we have 6.25n. So now we only want n. So now we would have n equals, and we would have 50 divided by 6.25. So now, since we want a whole number in the denominator, we would multiply the numerator, which is 50, and the denominator, which is 6.25, both by 4. So that would equal, so 50 times 4 is 200. And 6.25 times 4, we have 24 plus 1 is 25. which equals 8. So now that we know that n equals 8, this makes things much easier. Now here we just have 8 minus 4, which equals 4. Then we have 8 plus 4 is 12. Then we have 8 divided by 4 is 2. And now we have 8 times 4 equals 32. So 4 plus 12 is 16, plus 2 is 18, plus 32 is 50. So it adds up to 50, and we know the common result is 8. So now we can take a look at the options. So A says 6 is one of the four numbers. We know this is false because the four numbers are 4, 12, 2, and 32. B says two numbers are odd and two are even. Well, this is false because 4, 12, 2, and 32, so all numbers are even. Now C says 4 is one of the four numbers. Well, this is correct. We know one of the four numbers is 4. Now, D says one number is divisible by 5. This is false. Then E says none of the numbers are bigger than 30. This is also false because we have 32 as one of the four numbers. Then F says all of the numbers are divisible by 4. Well, this is false because 2 is not divisible by 4. And G says the sum of the two smallest numbers is 8. This is false because 2 plus 4 is 6, not 8. So, the answer is C. 4 is one of the four numbers. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca.